This is our 3D gamma exposure surface model. And what this basically does is give us a three-dimensional conceptual framework for how the market is positioned at any given point in time. So here we're looking at the SPY on our dashboard. It's trading around 448. We can see that there's big concentration here at the 450 strike. And this 3D model is showing us that the gamma at 450 is expiring on August 4th. So if we just turn here to the side, we can kind of see it a little better. We've got some gamma here at 450 that expires on August 18th. The biggest concentration though is expiring tomorrow on August 4th. And what that's going to do is if no further positioning comes in lower, then there's going to probably be a bounce back into the 455 and maybe even 460. So if we just turn our model on its axis and zoom in here, we can see that there's a big concentration on the upside way up here at 462. So this is about three or 4% higher than where the market is currently trading. And so this is expiring on August 11th, which is the following week from now. So all of this gamma down here is going to be shifting. This is gonna roll off tomorrow, August 4th. And then this concentration is going to have a outsized effect on market positioning and it's gonna act as like a magnet. So if no further positioning comes in lower down here at the 445 or 440 levels, then there's a decent probability of a bounce back into these positive gamma levels because that's where all the concentration is sitting for the next week. This is the benefit of visualizing gamma in a number of different ways. We also have a gamma exposure data graph. This is a two-dimensional framework. And so we see that big gamma concentration at 450 is visualized right here on this two-dimensional framework. What this doesn't tell us is when does this 450 gamma expire? We have to go to the three-dimensional surface graph have to see that this gamma concentration expires on August 4th. When you're studying gamma, the most important thing to understand is that there are multiple dimensions to gamma. You have to look at the total gamma value. You have to look at the zero gamma value. We plot these values directly in our chart so that you can see exactly where market participants are positioned in a price framework. But it's also important to look at these in a two-dimensional framework as well as in a three-dimensional framework. By the way, if you wanna learn a little bit more about how gamma exposure works, check out this video to see what option dealers are doing in the market. And so we're talking about using gamma exposure as a timing mechanism for your trading. And so what we'd like to do is visualize the market structure based on gamma to see exactly where market participants think that the price action is going. So for example, if we just look a little further out in time here, turning this gamma exposure model on its axis, we can see that there is positioning forming here at the September 15th expiration. We see positioning at 425 on SPY as well as uh, at 445. And so these are participants positioning themselves for a move lower in the market in the September 15th expiration. So that's about six weeks out from today. It doesn't guarantee that price is going there, but what it does is it gives you insight into where the market thinks that price is headed. So obviously between now and then positioning can shift, but as of right now, this is showing that the largest bulk of gamma positioning is concentrated at between 425 and 445 on the SPY. So let's go up here and take a look at the queues. When we look at the queues, we can see big gamma positioning in the December 15th contract expirations at the 325 and 330 levels. And so what this is telling me is that market participants are expecting a downward move in the market going into year end. These big concentrations oftentimes act like magnets for price. And so as we approach this December 15th expiration, there's a decent probability that we could see the price action move down to this 325 and 330 level in the queues. So that's definitely something that we want to be watching. That's on our radar. Are. We're going to be monitoring if the gamma positioning here is growing over time, because if it is, it's likely that price is going to come down into this 330 and 325 zone. And so if we just head back over here to our August 18th expiration, similar to what we were looking at in the SPY, you know, we see a lot of this uh, gamma, this negative gamma here is rolling off tomorrow, August 4th. And we don't see a lot of further negative positioning at this point in time. We do see if we come out here to the August 18th expiration, we, we see a lot of positioning at the 385 strike price on August 18th. So that's telling us, you know, with the Q's, Currently, with the Qs trading at 372, there's a decent probability for an upside move of 3 to 4% in the Qs coming into this August 18th expiration. And that's basically confirming what we saw in the SPY positioning as well.
If you guys are interested in checking out our Gamma Exposure Dashboard, we actually have a free trial that you can check out. I'll put a link down in the description below. Go over to our website, sign up. You can get a one month free trial and check out our dashboard. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I'll see you guys in the next video.